It's tapping with TT on High 97. My special guest is here, Lil Tekka. So you turned what, 21? 21, yeah. Okay, break it down. What did you do? I went out to eat with everybody I fuck with, uh-huh. everybody I love. Um, it was this restaurant that I really like, Julon Club. Oh, you know, I like Julon. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just the... did a, um, my birthday dinner there. Yeah, I did the same yeah. thing. Exactly. <laughs> I did the same exact thing. That's, yeah. You know how I went. Um, it was really nice, man. What do you get from Julon? I like the vegetable spring rolls with the, pop in. with the crispy rock prawns and the lobster fried rice. Yo, what about the lobster, the fried lobster, though? The salt fried and pepper lobster? lobster? I ain't even try that. Oh, you got to try that. It's so oh, nah. good. Oh, nah. That's yeah. probably OD. Yeah, you got to do the salt and pepper prawns and the salt and pepper lobster. Okay, very, very, No, it's so good. I'll be in there, so I'm definitely going to that. <laughs> I, ain't I like Julon Club. I've been, go- I've been going to that restaurant for a while. Yeah, yeah, I've been there like my first time going there was like 2019. Uh huh. 2019. Then I recently really got into it. Yeah. yeah. Did you take a shot for your birthday? Definitely, or you've been drinking? Definitely it? <laughs> took a shot for my birthday for sure. Have for you? Sure, you for sure. I, I mean, obviously you drank before, right? You know, we but now we, you're we, legal. You know, you're in New York. You grown at, grown at, taking shots. Yeah. Been taking shots. Yeah. But, you know, growing up in Queens. Now it's like official. Like, yeah, it's changed. Yeah. They can ask for my ID and I can still get the shot now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Has anything changed for you? Like, did you give yourself, like, okay, when I turn 21, I'm going to give myself 21 goals? Nothing really changed for real. Yeah. It's like, like you just said, like, we didn't really unlock nothing new turning yeah. 21. It's just like now, if someone do ask for my ID, I can flex it and be like, huh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's really it. But any type of pressure or personal goals you put on, you set for yourself? Mm-mm, yeah, definitely not. Because I feel like twenty one is just you just starting to learn and live. Mm-hmm. You, like you're still in a grace period to make a lot of mistakes. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I feel like your twenties is all about making mistakes, mm-hmm. live and learn. Yeah, just try it out. Now you definitely do got still got time to like fuck up. Yeah, like, a lot yeah, of time. You, you still got time, but <laughs> you know, not too much now. Like yeah, you still. In the middle of the hole, like you could still dig it too deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause you at the end of the day, like grown now too. Yeah. So you don't want to mess up too crazy. And then, yeah. The yeah. last time you and I spoke, it was on Zoom via COVID. Yeah, I was in my room. In your bedroom. Literally. It's like this is the first time we met like in person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. That, that whole COVID thing was crazy. Yeah. Like, doing interviews from the room, though. Yeah. Like that's how crazy it was. And making music. You made a lot yeah. of music during COVID. Yeah, I did make a lot of music. But even that aspect, I still do. Honestly, making music in my room and stuff, that never yeah. left. Yeah. This new project um, that you have coming out, when is it dropping again? September, this month? September 22nd. 22nd, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, either it was the 15th or the 22nd, but it's the 22nd, it's 22nd dropping. Yeah. What's different about this project compared to your last projects? Because you always mm-hmm. gave us like those yeah. big records, big mm-hmm. singles. Mm-hmm. Um, what what kind of space were you in in, in, in this recording process? I would say this one is a little bit more more personal. In certain aspects, I'm, I'm kind of going for it a little bit, like trying to go left, see if it's still right, mm-hmm. and embracing different production, like trying out things I haven't done, like the 500 Pounds track. Yeah. Like, it's a whole different type of, type t- of way. Yeah, I was going to say, that's yeah. a different type of vibe for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a whole different type of vibe. Just trying out new stuff and actually like... Was you scared to try that? The not try really, it? not really, because when I heard the beat, I'm like, this is fire. I'm going to just yeah. try it out. And then once it's stuck, I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's fire. Like, but I think that's great that you're not afraid to step out there and step outside of your comfort zone to try new things. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of artists, you know, they stick to, like, some of the same producers, the same formula. Because it works mm-hmm. for them, right? Mm-hmm. And they, and it works for their fan base. Yeah. But the fact that you're not afraid to just step out there and try different producers. Um, who's been your favorite so far? Definitely Taz Taylor. He... He like my 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 partner in crime with. But this I was whole gonna say Taz so like, is your go to guy yeah, though. Like, but at the end of the day, like, even though I'm going left too, Taz he going left right with me too. So it's like we both showing that growth. Like we both, like, embracing like a like a new type of sound with it. Yeah. So even though we've been like in this from the jump, it's like. We we taking that risk together too, so it's like yeah, cause you guys are more like partners too, like definitely. business partners, stuff like that. If my memory serves me correctly, we definitely we we in this, we yeah, in this. yeah, yeah, y'all like brothers, yeah, for sure, for so sure. So what happens sure. when you argue? 
<laughs> when, we, when me and Taz argue, it would be like, yo, we be going to war. <laughs> we going to war. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's my bro. Like, yeah. Who, before who? we hop off the call, right right before we hop off the call, we're going to be like, that's what it was. But she's still my bro, for sure. Yeah. Like, it don't matter. So as a producer, he's pushing you to be your highest creative self. And you push mm-hmm. him to be his high, highest creative yeah, self in the studio. Because him plus a lot of the other people I keep around me, they just... A lot of the another ears that I trust too, you know, because you know how it go. Like, it's so much stuff that's going on, so much opinions thrown at you. Like, you gotta have those people around you that you trust what they think too, on top of what you think. Because at the end of the day, like, this is my this is my thing. Like, yeah. I'm gonna have the last say with whatever. Yeah. But I still ask those people I trust what they think. Yeah. Know, just to get that. And you're growing as a person too. Mm-hmm. How was that growth being translated in your music? Um, just like. As you get older, you just realize, like, there's nowhere I'm going to want to be in 20 to 30 years but where I'm at right now. Mm. Staying present. So, so it's like just staying present, not getting in the way of the creativity, not overthinking what I'm doing, just letting it flow. Um. Yeah, just letting it flow. That's 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 what I've been doing these past few months, this past few, like, year and a half or whatever, you know, because, like, as you get older, it's like, yeah, like, yeah. you're just going to realize you're wasting time overthinking. <laughs> yeah. Realize. Because nothing's like, more important than being present in the moment, yeah, right? For real, for real. It's nothing else matters. Like, mm-hmm. you could look at the future, but it's like yeah. a it's, false, um, and you will have a false completion because you don't know what the future exactly, is going to hold. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Any more music with Sosa? No, nah, it's not on here. It's no? Not on here. It's not on this one. It's in the cut, though. It's not on this one. It's going to be in the cut, for sure. <laughs> He's still your favorite? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. For sure, for sure. I always tell people when they ask me who my favorite is, it's Sosa, for sure. Because, like, even to this day, you go to my playlist, it's classy Sosa. Songs. Yeah. Yo, I seen him recently at the BET Awards um, when I was in L.A. this past year, and... It's like he still has like that je ne sais quoi about him, that mystique about him that um, I love artists to have, right? It's like you know you know just enough about mm-hmm. him, right? And he still gets so much respect when he steps out. Like mad people want to take pictures with him. Yeah, because yeah, you can't you can't take away what that man did like, yeah. for nothing. Yeah, it's 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 in the concrete. It's stuck. Yeah, he's gonna get his credit forever. But who else would you want to work with now that you've worked with like someone you really admire? Now I'm just letting letting the pieces come together, cause like I said, I'm really just trying to find myself more than anything. And like, if there's collaborations that happen along the way, mm-hmm. I would love to collaborate. But there's not anyone I think in my head like you're not forcing you know, I really it. Really want to collaborate yeah. with this person, cause you know how I go. Yeah. Are you playing with, on this album, are you playing with, like, I know you're playing with the production, but are you also playing with your voice, your instrument, your flow, um, the wordplay? Yeah, I would say, like, stylistically, I'm I'm checking off all boxes. Um, and it don't even matter what type of music you're looking for with me. If it's my dance hall stuff, if it's my hype stuff, if it's my experimental stuff, like the 500 pounds, it's all on there. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, I definitely am, I feel like, in this one, getting more straight to the point, not just, like, talking around the topic, more talking about the topic. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be more easy to understand, like, what I'm going through and what I'm, even what I'm trying to flex. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going around nothing, so. You're just going right yeah, in. it's right there. That's even why I named the thing Tech. Yeah. So it's like. I was going to ask you what, I mean, obviously, Tekka, but. Mm. The inspiration behind the name, does it mean so much more than just your artist Yeah, because everybody around name? me, no one around me calls me Tekka. Mm-hmm. Like everybody just call me Tech. Yeah. So with that, I just wanted to invite everybody into like a more personal world. Just call it Tech. Like They going to just call it Tech. By the yeah. time the shit drop, everybody just going to call me Tech. Nobody even going to call me Tekka. <laughs> you going to drop, yeah. the, you gonna drop yeah. the little. Is definitely it- not. Definitely not. I feel like that's the name I was like. Given, yeah, by the fans, yeah, so it was personal to you, yeah, so it's personal. I can't just give up the whole little ticker. <laughs> I don't know what the future holds, though. Maybe in the future, I don't know. Maybe when you're 30, yeah, little maybe when I'm 30, it's not gonna be little tech anymore, it's just gonna be tech, it's, it's gonna tech. be tech. Yeah. <laughs>
What's up with your fashion thing? I know the last time you and I spoke, you you um, mentioned how you wanted to get into more fashion, and how's that going for you? Now I I make clothes. I style my friends. I I direct videos. Oh, so you tapping style, into all? Yeah, I do a lot now. Yeah, I do a lot now. Creative direct. Um, artistically, I feel like I could apply myself. And it's so complex, too, because I could do someone else's, like, cover art or whatever so much more easier than mine. Like, they could give me a name. I could think of some a whole concept, everything in my head. But when it comes to my own stuff, I'd be kind of, like, a little bit stuck. Like, hmm. It's always it's, like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's because I put a little bit more pressure yeah, on my own you, stuff or whatever. You're harder on yourself. Yeah, I think That's I'm harder why. on myself with that. Yeah. But whenever I'm working with my friends, I could just... Wow. Yeah. So they're like, yo, tech, I need you to design the artwork or this T-shirt. And yeah, it just they might flows. give me like an album name and be like, yo, I need you to think of a vibe for me. Or they give me a song and be like, yo, I need you to think of a little treatment for me. And I'll be like, all right, bet, I got you. Yeah. But I really like doing that, too, because this is another way to express myself. Yeah. And is there an artist out there that you would love to create a direct that you haven't been, haven't tapped into yet? Hmm. I would definitely love to make some beats for Sosa, for mm. sure. I would definitely love to do that, for wow. sure, for sure. I think we'll make some crazy. Have you have you voiced that to him I yet? haven't. I haven't. <laughs> now you're nervous? Haven't. Because it's just something, I'm a, like, I'm a person that likes to be prepared. Like, yeah. I don't want to tell someone I got some beats for him, and I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't got nothing to send, so I'd rather just cook up a bunch of stuff and then... Put a little folder together yeah, and cook, then hit put send. put a little folder and then send it wherever I got to send it. Yeah. yeah. That would be dope, though. Yeah, I think that would be hard, too. You'd be cooking up some beats for your favorite artist? Yeah, I'd be cooking up beats all the time. All the wow. time. Like, I make beats every day. I rap every day. Like, You're just sitting but, on stuff. Yeah, but it's different. It's just different ways to express myself, though. I don't really look at it as, oh, I'm working, or I'm, I'm clocking in. I'm really just expressing myself. It's still like, fun for you. Yeah, because yeah. even though, like, the whole rapper thing is, like, a title because it's tied to a profession, mm -hmm. but... At the end of the day, we just making music. We you're just, a creator. Yeah, we just creating for real. Yeah. We just we just doing our thing. Cause you're not boxed into just rap. Like mm -hmm. you're producing, you're fashion designing, you're doing artwork. Exactly. So you're not you're not boxed into like one exactly, thing. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you're we're expressing yourself in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. So, are you gonna go on tour? Um, for sure. Yeah. For sure, I'm going on a whole world tour with this one. Yeah, Cause I feel like you didn't really get a chance to like tour tour. I mean, you've done shows, yeah. but then COVID hit. Yeah, I did a I did a tour before COVID though. Yeah, right I before a, COVID. Yeah, I did, a, I did a U.S. tour and a Europe tour, and then in 2022 I did a U.S. and then a Europe, and then was it last year that we went to Australia? Or was it this year? And then yeah, this year. Wow. And then this year we went to Australia and Japan for a little tour too. How was um, Australia? Australia was lit. Yeah. Australia was lit. It wasn't, even though it's across the world, it don't feel like too far from home. Yeah. Like, it's still really adjustable. Like, you don't yeah. feel like you got to do the most to survive. That's on my hit list. I, I haven't been to Australia. I've been to Japan. I love it there. I feel like Japan is, they have so much respect for hip-hop culture over there, and, like, they love it. It reminds me of, like, a big man, like a melting pot. Of different people. Japan, my favorite place outside of New York. Yeah. Japan the, is like... And the food's is, good, right? The ramen? I'm allergic, I'm allergic to nuts and ah. all that. So I kind of had to just stick with McDonald's because I couldn't, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't read like the back of stuff and see if it had like peanuts or any type of nut. So... But Japan, like you do have to speak. In, uh, you do have to speak the language. It's so hard to get yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Just I regular. Had a, I had an app that I speak English into it, and then it speaks out their language. Yeah. And then they speak their language, and then it speaks out English into to the you. phone. So yeah, it was easy to communicate. It was so crazy because when I went out there, my phone wasn't working, so I couldn't do the app thing. And so I was just I like, nah. And so I had to get like a translator because it was so hard to I move around. Been my phone, I don't know, I guess the signal, my phone signal didn't register out there, and I was done for like a week, bro. I think it was like the first night we got there, 
It was like 11 o'clock or something. I checked the maps. It said McDonald's is open. <laughs> so then I called an Uber to McDonald's and it was not open. <laughs> Nor was nothing else on the street. So I had to call another Uber. And then it was like 12 minutes away. And it's raining outside too. Wow. So we just outside in the rain waiting on this Uber. And then my friends found a little store that was open. And they got a bunch of snacks. But I couldn't get none because yeah. I couldn't read the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to bed hungry. Yeah, I just went to bed hungry. What I love, what I remember most about being out there, right, is like after the club, when the train systems are shut down and they can't get home, they just sleep on the street and nobody bothers them. Like they was like sleeping on like the really? bus stops. They were like, yeah, I didn't even keep that. <laughs> like it was just so safe. Like yeah, just I mean, mad yeah. chill. Like no, I'm super chill out there. I'm gonna just cop this nap until the system runs about six a.m. Yeah, super chill. It's so I think chill it's because the. The transit system, the prices go really higher at a certain time. So oh. we're like, we just going to chill until they go back to the regular price. That's what it I is? Think that's what yeah. Because yeah. I was like, why is everybody just outside of the club sleeping on the bench, sleeping on the street, yeah. and just copping yeah. the spot? Yeah, I think at a certain time they skyrocket the price. Wow. Yeah. And then I went into a whole little mall massage place. Like at like three o'clock in the morning, my um, guide was like, you want a massage? I'm like, yeah, sure. Oh I'm in Japan. They probably got the best massages in the world. I'm like, then I'm like, it's three o'clock in the morning. What kind of yeah, massage like, are we massage getting over into? Right now? <laughs> but it was like one of the best massages of my life, and it didn't have a happy ending, so it was pretty That's legit. Hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. They must be open twenty four seven or something. <laughs> I was expecting some type of happy ending, and it didn't happen like that. <laughs> I was like, what am I walking into? It's like a little alley and a little oh, hole in the wall. Whole alley, you know, it was, yeah, yeah it was I had to crazy. do that to find this one clothes store. We went through like three different alleys. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah, but nah, okay. Japan, I had a really good, I had a really good experience out there. It was amazing. What's your other favorite place to travel? Amsterdam. Yeah? I love Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, it's just super clean out there. It's calm. Like, yeah. I, I know this one hotel that has like a hibachi restaurant. Mm-hmm. It's like the best hibachi I ever had. Are you are you allowed to eat the cheese? Mm-hmm. The cheese is good, right? Definitely have you cheese. tried Have you tried their cheese? I haven't tried. The oh cheese out there. my gosh, the cheese out there is really good. What's it's like cheddar? Another... It's like cheddar. It's like this Amsterdam cheese. Oh, okay, it's so good. No, I never tried it. Yeah, you gotta try it. Cheese, the cheese and crackers. It's okay. really good. It's really good out there. <laughs> Was Tech everybody um, in his... See, I'm calling him Tech already. We feel like family, right? You know what I'm saying? His album is coming September 22nd. Anything else you're gearing up for that we need to prepare? We shooting videos for it. Like we said, we're about to go on tour for it. Um, yeah, we're about to see all the fans soon. All right. All right. Well, listen, you know you always have a home here. Please come back. You know, I Most love definitely. you. You're so much Most fun. Definitely. Like a chill little, you like a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm <laughs> That's a little tech, everybody. Make sure you pick up his album September 22nd. It's called Tech. Tech. All right. It's Tapping with TT, my special guest. Give it up. Woo!